Okay, so let's talk about a scene where you have images which are blown out or images which are too dark and what the problem is and how to handle it. I've got this scene here and to show you this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and we're going to go into global switches and we're going to put an override material in here. So um, this is your render setup and to get to this I clicked on this button here and we're in the V-Ray tab. If you open up your material editor, you get this. Now if you get you know, if you get your compact material editor and you want the slate one, you can just click here on the material editor and if you keep your finger on the left uh, mouse button, you can then choose which one you want. So what we're gonna do is come over here to your materials on the side and make sure you get your V-Ray material. If you can't get a V-Ray material, it's because you don't have V-Ray selected up here, so make sure that's selected. And then just double click here, it comes in and I'm just gonna take this, click on the end, and drag this over here into the override material. Okay. Now, if you have glass in your scene in your windows, you want to hide the glass. And what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna turn this off so this doesn't save out anywhere. And I'm just gonna come in here and, okay, that's fine, that's gonna render relatively fast. And I'm just gonna change this down. I'm just gonna make this fairly small, but it will mean the render's quick and it will serve our purpose. So if I render this, I click F9, I've got all my lights in place, and this is what I'm getting. And this looks relatively, you know, relatively correct, relatively what I would expect to, receive, to get. So I'm just going to stop this here, and I'll show you the problem. The problem is your materials in your scene is too light or it's too dark. Watch what happens. If I make this black, and then I click Render. We're getting no light here. Okay, it's completely black, it's completely dark. And you can see it's gray and you're wondering what's going on. It's because I've got fog turned on. I'm just gonna turn that off quickly. Turn that off. Now you get this. Just nothing. Nothing at all. The light can't go anywhere. And Reversely, if I make it white, you're going to get the exact opposite. The scene's going to be in completely white. So everything is just completely blown out. You can't work with that either. And if you come here and you take a look, and you drag this down slightly, just down to like here, you'll, this is what you normally kind of end up with, right? You don't normally end up with these extremes. So here you have your scene, you think it's lit properly, but it's just extremely blown out, right? It's just, everything's too light, too white, over the top, and you can't really work with this. So I'm going to stop that. Now you've noticed my render's taking a while, and that's because my GI settings on the light cache is up at 5, 2000, so let's put that to a test render size. I just want to see what this is going to look like when it actually renders here. Okay, so this actually isn't too bad, right? It's a bit too bright, but apart from that, it's okay. And we're saved. Let's take a look at the, the opposite side here. If we take the same one, and we go down here. Let's see what happens then. Okay, and that one's too dark. So we haven't changed the lighting at all. All we changed was the override material. And you get what's going on here. This override material is black. That's what you get. If your override material here is white. Okay, so with a white image, this is what you get. There's your white override, black, dark, and light. So, What's going on? What's the exact problem? The problem is that GI is not being calculated correctly in V-Ray. Okay? And to understand that, we need to understand what GI is. So we're just going to look at the Chaos Group website. Okay, so global illumination. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have a look here. Global illumination. We'll try and keep this real simple. It's also called indirect illumination. So it adds realistic lighting to 3D scenes. 
And what it does is it takes into account not only the light that's coming directly from a light source, but also how the light bounces around the scene, how it's reflected off surfaces. And to do this, it has to look at how bright the wall is to allow light to bounce off it, or how dark it is and see how much light it absorbs. Because in reality, dark materials absorb light and light materials reflect light. So that's what it's looking at. The problem is, is it's calculating it incorrectly. So how is it calculating? You can see here, if you look at the white one, what it's doing is it's saying, if it's white, it reflects all light. So all light hitting the scene, anything in the scene gets reflected. If it's black, it's saying it absorbs all light and no light gets reflected. Okay, now think about that for a minute. Like what actually absorbs all light? Because I guarantee you, a black coat will absorb some light, but it doesn't absorb all of it. A black hole absorbs all light, okay? But not walls, not wooden floors. So you need to, to think and you need to know that GI is being calculated somewhat incorrectly here in V-Ray. It's doing a great job, you know? You look at this, it's doing fantastic. You look at this, you know, that's fantastic. But it's not calculating it correctly. And we can see that here. And it's important that you understand that so you can then handle it. Because what's going to occur is you've got a very light room. You know, you've got white paint in, on the walls and you get a white wooden floor. And this is from your designer and they want it to be a Scandinavian layout. So, okay, bang, 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 bang. But this means the amount of light being ref like reflected, the amount of global illumination in that scene is going to be too high. And reverse... You know, you get a nightclub, you get something dark and they've got this dark floor and they've got these dark moody walls, but you're going to be putting lights in and they're going to be sucking this light into the material and you're going to be jacking up your lights to try and handle it. And you might eventually work something out, but you will be like, I'm not happy with the way that came out. And the only reason you're not happy with it is because you don't understand it, so you don't know how to handle it. So what you can do is you know, you take this material and the easiest way is if this is your wooden material or this is whatever it is, you know, we'll, we'll, let's dial this back. Let's actually, no, let's leave it up here at white. And what you do is you go right click on that change material map type. Okay. So now you've got change material map type. And then what you do is you come down and you select uh, V-Ray override material right here. Keep old material as sub material, so it will keep it will now assign this to everything this is assigned to, you know, to which is here. So this material here will now match this one, as opposed to that one. So you get another V-ray material, and you just drag that, and you put that into your GI, and we'll leave that halfway. And now, if I render, you get this. Okay, great. So we can see here. You know, what's happening? Now we can see the render. But you'll notice that we left here, the material was, was white. And all we did is we put this GI material in and we made this gray. So what's happened is it's kept the material white, but it's made it so the GI is adjusted. And this is what you can do when you have a render which is too light or too dark. So you take the material, like if the walls are black, you take the material, you put this override on and you put a lighter color here into the GI. And same if it's too white, you put this color and you make a darker color here in the GI. Now, another problem since we're on the subject of GI is we're going to take this and we're going to take this and we're going to exclude. You can exclude things here on your override. Okay, yay, max crash. So we're just going <laughs> to we're just gonna pick up where we were. And instead of any override, I'm just going to put this one directly in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exclude. Just find the name of it. Yes, it's called the floor. Okay, exclude. Floor. Okay, and then I'm just going to press shift and drag this. Left click and drag this over. And I'm just going to click here and I'm going to make this red. And I'm going to assign this to the floor. Actually, because it's not normally that red, I'm just going to push these. I'm just going to bring everything away from absolutes because when it's an absolute, Max doesn't really like absolutes. So when it's an absolute, you can have an issue. 
And we should have less of an issue with this. But it'll still be a problem. You'll be able to see it. And no one can say, hey, but you did an absolute and that's why the problem was there. So you see the problem here? See all this red? It's so red, it's like someone's turned on a red light in the scene. And I'm not going to leave this to finish rendering. You can see the walls are red. This is all red under here. This is red. Everything close to the floor is red. And all the way up the top is also red. So it's, the point is, it's just too much. And that also is a problem with GI. You see, it's just too much. You've got too much coming through. And you can also just drag here and come here and go materials, V-Ray. V-Ray of red material. The problem with doing it this way, put it on as base material, is look, see this is not assigned. So now I've still got the floor selected, so now I have to assign it. But the usual thing which you do at this stage is you'll take the material and you'll put it in and you'll take this and you'll take this color and you can just desaturate it. And that's what you'll do. Now, let's say you've got, you know, let's say you actually got a map, a bitmap coming in there. Then the way you would desaturate it is you'd have that same bitmap coming in here and then you just have a you go to the maps and you go general and you get a color correction and you plug the bitmap into there let's say this is it so you have the bitmap you know your red carpet bitmap and that comes into diffuse and then you click on here and you just desaturate it and depending on how light or dark it is you might need to mess around with the light and darkness which you can just do here like this make it lighter or darker but for our intents and purposes because this is just a color. We just desaturate it here and make it a bit darker. here. And then when I click render, you'll see you get much less, much less color coming through. You get some and you can expect some. You just don't get the same quantity. So basically you have three problems. So white, you have a problem where it's reflecting everything and nothing reflects anything apart from like, you know, it's basically treating it like a light source. It's just shining back out all of the light that hits it. Black, nothing absorbs all light apart from maybe a black hole. You know, I can't, I don't know of anything else other than a black hole which absorbs all light. And three, you've got too much color being generated with the global illumination, with the default settings of global illumination. Now, most of these problems you're not going to notice because your colors are a bit desaturated and things aren't black and they're not white. But you will notice it in things like you get a red carpet, there's too much color, or you get a green carpet, there's too much color. You know, you'll notice it where the room's too dark and you can't get it brighter. You increase the lights, it's still too dark. Or vice versa, it's too light and you're trying to make it so it's not so bright. Chaos Group really needs to do something to handle this. My suggestion to Chaos Group is you have a little button, probably put it in options and go near Glossy for now, or it can go up here, you know, similar to this. It basically overrides and it just goes, okay, instead of having black as black and white as white, it just dials back the black, it dials back the white, and it gets those looking correct. And also it just desaturates the color slightly. And if you had a button which just did that, desaturate, diffuse, and take, you know, bring in the black, bring in the white, then you wouldn't have this problem. Um, and that would be my, my suggested solution. But in the meantime, you know, what you can do to handle it is you use your override material. Use it like this, or use your color correction, and you have your bitmap going in through there, and you just desaturate somewhat. Um, and in that way, you can get your scene, the GI in your scene being correct. And hit the subscribe button, and I'll show you some more awesome videos on what you can do with V-Ray and how to fix various things and how to get your renders looking how you want them to look.